I'm not an expert at instructions. This is why I never did basic leadership studies. How can I tell you how to live your life? How to love like Jesus when I can't leave my own past behind? The weight of the world is weighing heavy on my shoulders. Once I was young, now I'm growing older and I'm weary of this fight. Won't somebody tell me how to get a woman to love me for life so I can call her friend, girlfriend, fiancé, then wife? Plenty of us try to dodge pebbles in the river, skipping necessary steps in the process. I know I've got to quit chasing after all those other sheilas. If I claim to be serious about you, honey, it's about time I settled down and quit acting like a foolish hooligan. That playistic way of life has to end. It's just a ballistic missile leading to fatalistic repercussions. I ain't following no trends, ending discussions with clenched fists, finishing at Finishing off right where we've started. Seems like we've come back full circle and it couldn't get any better than this. Can you prick my conscience? Show me how to avoid causing interruptions to your ordinary flow. Disrupt the usual pace of progress. I don't have kids to use as an excuse, a part or a full-time career to steer me clear of this passion I was engineered to pursue. Now all the world's in hot pursuit. I'd better lace up my boots. They've come around to shoot me down like the, like the last sheriff to get shot in a no-good one-horse cowpoke cow town. I could tell you how to write a song if you're struggling. Just open your mouth and let that bubbling brook come pouring out. Just lay your heart at the feet of Jesus. I couldn't tell you how to get rid of all that pent-up aggression in a healthy way. But maybe you could do it in a stealthy way instead. Is there a wealthy way to live and still be generous, not stingy? Be thrifty in your investments. Save up for a rainy day. Please don't try to drain me of all my platelet resources. Little Skeeter, this corpuscle wasn't meant for you to chew. I'd really like it if you didn't move a muscle anymore. If you admit to owning murderous thoughts, they will probably lock you away in the psych ward. If you get caught in the moment of passion acting unfashionably blue, I will toast this season of you for no reason other than your plans fell through and consequently you surely deserve celebrating while there remains still breath chapped within an air pocket of your lungs. Crawling through the vents, lamenting all that will be you never never was. I can tell you how to make life harder for yourself, but not easier. I act sleazier and cheesier than most with a poop-eating grin that burns your eggs on toast. Can you kill that kamikaze tendency in me? I chew pastrami with alarming frequency. I'm gastronomically delightful. Also, I've been told I'm wise, witty and insightful. I... Help to unsettle the stomach like doggy kibble mixed with penicillin. You'd better wear your medical alert brace, bracelet around me. I'm only as inspired as the music I listen to, the movies I watch, the lovely baked, fried, roasted, grilled aromas I smell, the books I read, the galleries of paintings I explore, pictures of dogs, get cats and monkeys, the sermons I take on board and personalise as my own, the plays I attend, the chattering chimpanzee, timpani-like conversation snippets between my friends and I, those who bother to pay attention and others who pass me by, who can blame anyone for not stopping in the torrential downpour of rain, we are truly copping it heavy on this arid desert plain, dune buggies roaming among the spin effects and salt bush surroundings i dance around the homing pigeons here in this wasteland not letting a moment go to waste though some say i've wasted my entire life that i became guilty of sin the moment i first tasted the blood of animals on my lips how am i supposed to love you like you want to be loved how do i deal with the facts you're not coming back this is the real world full of pain and heartbreak but i'm not a total pessimist this can have two sides this coin has two sides i can always find a reason to celebrate i couldn't teach you how to build a house but i know how to tear it down like it's made of matchsticks instead of bricks if you cobbled together magical creatures out of your own sick none would want to look at no one would want to look at it let alone touch it remember up in the mountains flogging beautiful melodies to randoms vegetarian dogs cafes where we ate like hogs chicks now ancient who used to have blokes requesting them if they would like to come upstairs inside their flats and admire their etchings. 
you can create a good reason to boomerang back to her place if you accidentally on purpose leave your jewelry and pocket watch under under the sofa. But what if she pedals it off at the Sunday market to some back street pedaling biker gang Bilby from Mars sending your precious possession spiraling off into outer space? What if God uses her as a catalyst to rescue your soul from hell's flames? What if you find out you're not the only cat that on that dame's list in need of being saved if you want to get a woman's heart hooked beg her to interpret all your confusing dreams ask her in as polite a tone as your cattle prod self can muster if she wouldn't mind doing you the awfully kind favour of becoming your prayer partner then one day she just might end up signing an unbreakable contract with you for life agreeing to become your lovely wedded wife Get her to educate you, even on what you already know. Get her to reiterate it so your eyes can feast on the visual banquet laid out laid before you right now. Such beauty your peepers have never beheld. She wins the sweepstakes and takes you on a journey to a fantasy land that can't be found on any map because you can only visit it within the labyrinth fine world of dreams. When you recline by her side as groom and bride, well, you may dine upon her delicacies for she is the greatest treasure and her company provides infinite pleasure for you. She is admirable and worthy of praise. She is the admiral of the ancient of day and the ancient of days beats inside her pounding chest. Angels watch over you as you rest. I I can't tell you how to build your nest with her. You are gonna have to figure that part out for yourself. With your feeble fables and your Babel Tower crumblers. Getting pummeled by oppression, still you hold on to all that remains. When your strength is severely depleted by horrific circumstances, you can find the terrific even in the situation. The future doesn't have to be quite as terrifying as you might imagine. Just tell me how to cope and survive now. I wiggle and writhe in the shadows. God made my bone and marrow. It's eating me alive. Thinking of how your house used to feel like my second home. So familiar and cozy now. All that quaint charm is gone. All that's left is a llama escape from a pharmaceutical company. Wearing this cap. Wearing the cat's pyjamas, chewing up your banana leaves. You must have bats in your belfry to think I'd ever go back to that place. But I'd resurrect my chickens in a heartbeat because I love to have fresh eggs every morning. We can't get that bright so sunny it hurts your eyes gooey yolk anymore. We never get the bloody or pooey ones either. But you take the good with the bad, don't you honey? I'm threading the bows into strings and ribbons round your head. Diving in that pudding stew art. Your appetite wetter don't stress it's gonna get better it was never my aim to be top of the pop charts with all the other pear and apple tarts just to make a comfortable living doing what I love and you could, could tell me you want to be queen to my king we could find a bishop to marry us there there we will rest with our books in this in the cozy little nook beyond yonder castle rook if you don't know how to cook that's all right so long as you keep flowing non-stop like a bubbling brook filling up my ear pipes i don't know how to stop this self-destructive cycle when it comes to relationships i make promises just as easily as i break them it's hard to believe we made it through our first year undisturbed by outside forces there was some small mir that, uh, that was some small miracle in itself. We have to thank the rider on the white horse more brilliantly bright than pure snow for that. Whose eyes blaze with fire, who keeps the coals of desire for each other burning strong. Helps our love stay intact, though distractions come along to toss it in the billabong.